When most people think about learning a language in high school, they immediately think about the traditional ones they normally see and hear, Spanish, Latin, French, or perhaps German. At Rochester's East High School, you can learn any of these, and more, and even one, you can't hear. In its 14th year at the school, American Sign Language is taught in three parts and is also recognized by New York State as a secondary language along with any other you may learn in high school, with a curriculum and a proficiency test. East High School American Sign Language teacher Tony Lin feels that most students don't take her class just for the grade. I believe many students who take it, instead of taking French or German or Spanish, many of them have a deaf relative or a deaf neighbor or there are students in the building who currently use teacher of the deaf services, interpreters and note takers. So they are exposed to the deaf culture and, and the language in other places. On this particular day, students in Tony Lynn's class are learning how to use their growing sign vocabulary to answer proactively what time or place certain things occur. This working use of the language is what instructors hope each student will come away from their class with. After this engaging activity, students work with a vocabulary drill as a group, testing their current knowledge of signs and brushing up on a few phrases they are unfamiliar with. And what does all this practice equate to? For some, it will be skills for a future job position, and for others, like Sharonda Miller, it's much more personal. My brother is deaf. He has been deaf since he was 13 months. He caught meningitis and it affected his hearing. So ever since I was little, we've been doing sign language. I conversate with my brother's friends a lot, and like some signs I don't know, so that's why I wanted to switch from Spanish to sign language. Later on, students first visited the advanced class, where American Sign Language teacher Catherine Wardlow had students hard at work on a vocabulary game. In this exercise, they practiced signing specific words, which in turn became a trigger for other students who see that sign and sign a different word, and so on. After this exercise, students participated in a fingerspelling rally, where Miss Wardlow signed out letters and students wrote what they saw on the chalkboard to spell out a secret word. In both exercises, a good knowledge and quick recall of signs are key. Miss Wardlow, who is pinnacle in the inception of the sign language program at East High, has seen many success stories come from the classes over these past 14 years. I have a few students who have over the years gone on into careers in this. In fact, one of my first students is actually now a math teacher over at Rochester School for the Deaf. So, yes, it has been very useful, whether just in a social situation or as a career. So my students have pursued it further. Well, I have students every year who tell me, you know, I work over at Wegmans in Henrietta and a deaf person came through my line and I was able to help them. So you get experiences like that. Every week someone comes in um, one of the students and tells me or shares a story where they met someone and were able to sign to them. But most of them really enjoy it because it's, it's different and it's, it's tactile, you're using your hands um, and it's something that's very practical. It's both a skill um, that can uh, use in the community. So uh, I think it's a great asset for them to have to use this and to be able to um, use it later in life. For East High student Amanda Lise Ramos, learning American Sign Language is about enrichment, but not only for herself, but rather for the benefit of others in her community. I speak two languages already, Spanish and English, and I've always thought of myself being in a situation where someone who is deaf and can't, you know, they can't hear me verbally, so they'd have an emergency or something. And then I wouldn't be able to help them if I speak, you know, English, so I wanted a sign just in case, you know, a situation like that comes across my way. Little do we know, there's a lot of deaf people. I never realized it until I started taking it. And now, like, just the other day, me and my family went out to eat. And these, this deaf woman was signing, and I understood what she was ordering. So it was, you know, it was kind of cool. She needed help with someone to speak to the, um, to the person, the cashier, whatever, see what she wanted. So she signed to me what she wanted, and I helped her out. Whether these students are here for the grade, for employable job skills, or simply to be a better community member, the American Sign Language class at Rochester's East High School is showing all the signs of success.